Good morning. We're trying to be quiet because we're walking by some rooms. Um, the camera's fogging up, but that's just the reality. Um, it's actually raining this morning, and we are on our way to Animal Kingdom. Wow, that's really foggy. Okay, that's better. So we are walking to the buses. We're on our way to Animal Kingdom this morning. Uh, the camera's fogging a little bit because um, it's a little muggy out here. It's actually raining. So um, we are going to try to jump on a bus before there's a ton of people. And hopefully this rain will stop. The Animal Kingdom line is a mile long, so we called an Uber. We'll see how this goes. flight of passage right now and it was all the way back to the bridge to leave from Pandora to go over to the festival of the Lion King the cast member with the sign said that the wait from that point was only 40 minutes so still a really good not super long line for flight of passage and we walked into the park just before 8 o'clock it's 8 10 now and we are already up here so not a bad wait when you first get into the park, but highly suggest if you do want to ride Flight of Passage that that would be the first thing you jump in line for. So we met these sweet people behind us. They live in West Palm Beach. Um, they were just telling us that the queue is amazing and interesting fact, we've never actually been through the Flight of Passage queue, so we're really excited to check it out and see what it looks like. We've never been through. We've gotten to peek through the windows inside and see the Navi, but we've never actually gotten to walk by it. So this is going to be really fun. I'm so excited. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying Banshees and their environment. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Ho, rise to the challenge. Navi River is also a 40 minute wait, so we jumped in line for that. We're finally out of the rain. I threw my camera just a minute ago, so I'm testing it now to see if it works, but it looks like it's working fine, so crisis averted. No problems there. Um, but yeah, we're finally back out of the rain and uh, waiting in the queue. They've got the fans going, so it's not super warm. And with the rain, it wasn't warm anyway, but this wait really isn't bad. I'm a fan of getting all the rides in Pandora done in less than two hours.
the dark brown antelope are bongos. Bongos are also known as the ghosts of the forest. Brown antelope are greater kudu. It looks like all three of those are females. Males would have had horns. And on the right, the giraffe. You would not want to. You would not want to. On the left, a few different animals. The giraffe with the huge white horns, the Ancoli cattle, and all the way back laying down the dark brown antelope laying there. And those tiny light brown animals scattered on the hill are springbok. Towards the middle, there's some walking there. I also saw one just going behind the termite mounds under the trees. On the right, these gray animals are uh, those white bearded wolves. Another lion and lioness coming up as well. You know, you're seeing something that doesn't happen too often. You're seeing a lioness actually up and about. That's because they do sleep about 20 hours a day. Girl, yes. <laughs> well, as for this warthog, there's not just one warthog, but if you look closely behind that warthog, there are actually some more laying down that kind of look like hairy rocks. Pretty well camouflaged. So we're starting to check some things off our list of things we've never done before. We just jumped on the train in Harambe and we're headed to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Greetings friends and welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. For a safe journey, remember to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Sit all the way back against the bench, and please be sure to watch your children. A Sunday. another Mickey with his mask on. Welcome friends to the animation experience at Conservation Station. Studying their behavior and personalities in order to create realistic characters and dynamic storylines. This meeting of the human and animal worlds sparked a legacy of storytelling that has shaped our relationship with animals and conservation forever. Today, we invite you to become a part of that legacy as our own Disney artists help you learn to sketch characters inspired by the very animals found here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Get your pencils ready because here comes our animation artist now. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the animation experience here at Conservation Station. All right, how's everybody doing today? Good. Okay, is there anyone here for the very first time? Newbies, a bunch up here, very cool. 
Walt had a great idea. We'll bring animals into the studio so the animators can see them and study them and learn about them and use that to inspire their animation. Because previously, woodland creatures did things like laundry and dishes and sweeping and mopping the house, and they don't really do that in real life as much as we would like to believe it. It doesn't work that way. So, by bringing in the animals and having the animators see how they actually behave in real life, they could incorporate that into the animation. And seeing as how we are drawing a gorilla here this afternoon, it only makes sense that we would bring a gorilla into the theater so you can see it and study it and learn about it, right? No. There's that just one problem. I don't know how many of you out there are allergic to gorillas. And here at Walt Disney World, we take allergies very seriously. So if there's even one person in the audience here that may have an allergy to gorillas, that's the only reason we wouldn't bring an actual live gorilla here into the studio. The only reason. On the movie Bambi. So just like you, with a clipboard on your lap, drawing Grace and using her as inspiration to create Turk, you are now following in Walt's footsteps right here, right now.